they were watching Jesus to see if he would cure a man on the Sabbath. This may sound a little familiar, my dear brothers and sisters. Perhaps people watching us to catch us on the wrong foot. People watching us to pass judgment against us. People watching us to see if we'll break the law. People watching us to see if we commit sin or we do something wrong. And therefore we're quite familiar with today's text. We continue from where we left off on Saturday when we were reflecting about the Sabbath. And here was perhaps another reason why the scribes and Pharisees would discuss ways of eliminating Jesus and accusing him of breaking the law. And what does Jesus do? For Jesus, his primary concern is love for people. If someone can benefit from the good that we do for them, why should we be so bothered about a law that exists? We must remember, my dear brothers and sisters, the law was made for man. And therefore man must not become a slave of the law, so much so that we don't even do good for others, because there is a law that prevents us from doing so. Once again, a reminder to all of us to go by the spirit of the law, and this is what Jesus did. He didn't want to challenge the scribes and the Pharisees. He had no reason to do that. But he wanted to communicate a very simple message, not just to them, but to all those who were present there, that even if a law exists, our concern must be about the human being. And Jesus acted with love for that particular man with a withered hand. He went on to heal him, because he was a child of God and he wanted to make him well again. And I'm sure this man for the rest of his life would have been eternally grateful for Jesus' love for him, for making him well again and he would continue to give praise and glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus wants to heal us. I believe not so much from a withered hand, but from being people who are so caught up with the law that we forget our Christian duty of love and charity towards others. I think he wants to touch our hearts, which are so hardened today, so that it could be melted in such a way that we will be able to reach out to others in love. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.